How's it going everyone? That's just a uh, quick project video we're doing. We are shortening up Andy's stove because it's uh, a little bit too long, not just for his tent, but overall I think for functionality. Uh, it's uh, Amazon special that he's had for a while and we're just going to make a couple cuts. He's already started cutting. Cut out about six inches of it and then we're going to weld it back together. Um, and hopefully make maybe a couple of improvements along the way. Uh, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. So close it. Oh yeah, that's money. Hit them from the back to clean them up. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. It's a supercharged stove. Why don't you walk us through the improvements, Andy? Obviously, we've taken six inches out from the center, so it's shorter to fit in your tent a little bit better. Plus, you're mentioning how because of the length. Yeah, it just didn't draw a good draft. You'd have to get the fire started all the way in the back or something like that? Yeah, yeah. pretty much that's where you had to burn it at. You couldn't even stack the stove, so it was just wasted space. And it just smoked you out. So. All right, so, so it's six inches shorter. Yep. Um, it's pretty thin metal and um, so you know the welds aren't the prettiest but a grinder and paint will make you the welder you ain't um, then it had this another air baffle back here which is kind of asinine because trying to reach around a hot stove to adjust an air bat uh, didn't make much sense so we just closed that up it also did not have a flu so Don't worry about holding the stove still for me. Ah, Make this easier. <laughs> yeah. So we uh, yeah, tacked in a little flue there. Made a little flue tack in. Um, apparently this got a little bit bent. But anyways, um, yeah. 
and uh, added a couple beads in there so that way this has something to catch on so it sort of holds in place um shortened obviously the racks slash handles as well so that way they fit back on here weld wire let's trim that off other than that and he added some extra holes in the front air baffle um oh, that's kind of cool because you can yeah, choose between choose. four or five yeah. holes if you want fully open yeah you can still actually pretty much close it all the way off too yeah. so, so um, a lot more versatility there with airflow and we obviously also shortened out the inside grate um, and tack that in place overall major improvements should work a lot better for him we'll find out in the tent we will find out we're gonna be going camping here uh, momentarily so uh, tune in for the next video if you want to see if these improvements actually helped or not well thanks for hanging out we'll see you guys in the next one like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe like and subscribe I like and subscribe I said like like and subscribe Elvin idiot <laughs> like like and subscribe like like and subscribe like like and subscribe oh, pointing at you like like and subscribe one more time like like and subscribe nope still didn't get it okay like like <laughs> and then subscribe